Hey guys, it's Jeff, and uh, today we have iOS 12.3 Beta 3. Uh, super exciting, just because uh, last week we didn't get any beta updates whatsoever, so uh, a lot of you were asking, hey, when's the next beta? And I did predict that it would come this Monday, simply because uh, Apple definitely needed some time to fix all the bugs that were found in Beta 2. So hopefully those bugs are fixed, and hopefully we see some new, uh, new features and then some major changes as well. Uh, I really want to see something new with uh, the iOS 12.3 Beta, simply because so far, if you've been following the videos, we haven't gotten really much of anything. Despite this being uh, what it should be like a major update, iOS 12.3, like iOS 12.2 and 12.1, uh, we should be seeing a lot of major new features and changes at least, and uh, we just haven't. So hopefully Apple is not delaying uh, those until uh, iOS 13. Hopefully we get a few new features for those who uh, definitely like iOS 12. And uh, let's check for maybe some new wallpapers, some new features, changes, and everything like that. But we'll go ahead and get it loaded up onto our iDevice here and then show you what's new. Guys, go check out Clean My Mac X. It's absolutely amazing. I use it every day and I cannot say this enough, every Mac user needs this program. So go check it out. There's a link down below with more info and you can also go download it to try it out for yourself. Okay, so we have iOS 12.3 beta 3 loaded up onto our uh, device here and let's go to about and see exactly what's new with the about screen. So as you can see, iOS 12.3, and then we have a build number of 16F5139E. Now, this update did come in at around 412 gigabytes for my iPhone XS Max, and uh, that was quite surprising given that we didn't really see any new features or major changes in the last build, and that was just uh, under, I think, 300, uh, around that 300 range. So I'm not really expecting to see too much, but I am expecting to see at least something. And we did get a new modem firmware here, so uh, 1.0. 5.02, it was uh, 0.01 last time. And uh, since we got onto the betas, that has been updated. Uh, so we should be seeing a lot better uh, data connections, a lot better cell connections. That has been a running issue with the iPhone XS, XS Max, and iPhone XR with dual SIM technology. So hopefully that gets even better as we continue on into the betas. I know a lot of people were having issues with that. So let me know in the comment section down below if those issues have in fact uh, kind of gone away. Now, the next thing that we have here is actually some further improvement to the Memoji feature. We don't have any new Animoji, but we are seeing that when you go in to edit your Memoji character, it goes back to where you were editing previously. And we actually have a few more options under headwear here and a few more options under some of the other categories. So that's really exciting to see. And uh, it's really cool to just see that there are further improvements to Memoji and getting that feature kind of dialed in and uh, more up to date. So go ahead and check that out if you have the uh, face ID camera with the AR sensing uh, technology and that would be really cool to just go ahead and check out. Now as far as any new features I really haven't found any in this version of iOS but I was just connected to my Beats headphones just a second ago and unfortunately they keep on disconnecting so if you do not want to have issues with possible just Bluetooth disconnecting uh, you should definitely not update to this version of uh, iOS betas because simply I am just having that issue uh, quite a bit here and I did go ahead and kind of reset that connection via Bluetooth and restarted my device and that still uh, did not work. So if I go to try to connect to my Beats headphones, it just does not connect. Sometimes when I turn uh, my Beats headphones on and off, it kind of reconnects very shortly, maybe for um, a max of like 15 seconds, and then it goes ahead and uh, does not reconnect. So that's super disappointing to see. So if you guys uh, don't wanna deal with Bluetooth issues, maybe avoid the beta three update for now. Now in the release notes, uh, Apple did say that if you go into calendar, you can kind of add uh, support for Japanese Rewa era calendar. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it was in fact in the release notes. And basically this allows support for that calendar. So if you're Japanese and kind of follow that calendar, it will be in iOS 12.3 now. All you have to do is make sure that the language and the calendar uh, kind of like time zone and everything like that is set to uh, is set to the Japanese time and everything like that. And you should have access to that calendar. So make note of that. Uh, that is a very small change. And for the rest of the world, not really too much of a uh, major ordeal but it was something that was included in this beta. 
Now, past that, really no new features or changes. It's quite disappointing. Um, as, as you saw, there was that Bluetooth issue, but as far as any changes to Apple TV, obviously the, uh, the UI will get smarter. The AI uh, behind this app will get smarter to kind of suggest things uh, that you should be watching and everything like that. But so far, uh, not really many changes here simply because um, it's so new and Apple definitely hasn't had a, enough time to uh, fully test the user experience on Apple TV. Uh, but as far as any of the other new features that we saw in iOS 12.2, uh, nothing really building on top of that. Uh, the speed and performance so far, I think is pretty good. I'm actually seeing a, a little bit better performance uh, graphics wise. So the UI is just a little bit snappier. Um, so I am experiencing that. That's really nice to see, but um, either than that, I'm not really experiencing much of a major difference between um, the first, second, and third beta here. Now, I did want to go over some results that we got in Geekbench just to show you guys where we're at in the uh, beta process so far here. So in beta two, we saw a single core score of 4,778 and multi-core at 10,512. And we did see an increase here, uh, getting a 4,794 on the single core and 10,666 on the multi-core. So that's a little bit of improvement on the CPU side of things. So that will essentially make your um, browsing experience um, going throughout system processes and everything like that just a little bit smoother, but will also improve on uh, battery usage uh, efficiency and everything like that. So if we go into beta two here for the graphics, which handles a lot of the UI experience and how snappy, smooth, and everything is on the UI, uh, we saw uh, on beta two, 21,995, and we saw quite a big increase to 22,300 82 for beta 3. So the reason why Apple probably jumped up this score, uh, kind of clocked the GPU just a little bit higher, was to ensure that as this will likely be the final build um, of iOS uh, 12, you definitely want to have this last. So Apple definitely wants to focus a lot on speed and performance with this update, uh, I, that being iOS 12.3, and obviously having all of these uh, you know, improvements made to the graphics and CPU performance and everything like that will be a top priority simply because they're already working on iOS 13 and they really want to make sure that iOS 12 can kind of just be left alone and uh, only updated when necessary via like security patches and everything like that. But as far as any new wallpapers, um, we didn't really see anything new here. So we still have to wait for those. Um, and yeah, there are really no new features or um, major changes brought to uh, this build or just in general, the entire iOS 12.3 beta process so far. So we we'll guess we'll have to wait and see for um, some of the next builds. Another problem that I did notice within the betas right now is that you can see here that we have air quality index when we um, zoom in to certain areas. You can see that it's 30 in Fillmore. When we move over, to Glendale, it now uh, it now changes. So previously, when we had this feature turned on, it would take a while to kind of calibrate, and um, it actually wouldn't change, uh, despite like where you went. So um, yeah, as you can see, it's kind of buggy right now. Um, you kind of have to go in and out to get it to change. So if we go into Los Angeles 62, if we go over to Anaheim, it changes. But you kind of have to calibrate it to to change. If um, it's kind of just stuck, just zoom all the way out until it disappears and then zoom back in and it should work. Um, that's a simple fix for now. I'm sure Apple will definitely patch that in the near future, but just wanted to show you guys that trick just in case you guys use air quality index if you have allergies or anything like that. Okay, guys, that was iOS 12.3 beta 3. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Are you disappointed? Are you happy about the uh, beta process so far? I definitely want to know. And if you want to get onto the beta process, go ahead, uh, go to beta.apple.com. You can go ahead and enroll and they will give you access to the beta program there. If you're on the public beta, it should be coming later today or later uh, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. So go ahead, check that out. And uh, yeah, that should be all the information for you guys on beta 3. Thank you all so much for watching this video on iOS 12.3 betas. If you want to get more content or check out some of our other beta, beta content, go ahead and uh, get subscribed and also hit the bell button because that is super important to get updates as soon as we release our content. Anyways, guys, I thank you again for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Peace.